intelligence for you. So, sorry, the intelli artificial Ar intelligence. Artificial I mean, if that is the nervous system, intelligent, artificial intelligence, what's, I mean, use another metaphor. Uh, you ask me what do I think of artificial yeah. intelligence? Um, Obviously. Well, you can think of artificial intelligence as, um, this is perhaps the, you, it's the, the biggest inflection point in intelligence since Homo sapiens. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, artificial intelligence is, will be essentially a sort of a, a new species or is a new species. Um, so I think one of the biggest challenges, if, if, if I look at, say, civilizational risk, um, you know, the, the, the risk to the future of humanity, um, you know, birth rate is one of them. If we just don't have kids and dwindle away, um, that's one which I've talked a lot about. The other is, uh, you know, there's always like potentially nuclear war, of course, that kind of thing. Um, the, uh, then AI is also an existential risk. And we need to be, um, I think we need to be careful with the advent of AI. Um, it, it, but it is very much, it's, a, it's a, very much a double-edged sword. You can think of AI as kind of like the magic genie. You know, that, like, digital superintelligence will be capable of doing anything. Anything. Pretty much anything. But he doesn't have any consciousness. I'm, w I'm wondering about that. I mean, there is a whole question of, like, what is consciousness? In fact, so here's, like, a, I was thinking, I've thought a lot about what is consciousness and where does consciousness arise? Um, you know, to say, like, because I, I think in terms of physics, you know, um, and it, it, at least if physics is true, then we go from a start of the universe where things are almost entirely hydrogen, and then if you leave the hydrogen out in long enough, eventually it coalesces into stars, and then those stars explode, and then they recondense, re um, you know, and so, so mo like, most of the mass in your body is, was once at the center of a star, which is kind of wild, billions of years ago. And so, so where, where along the lines of, of hydrogen to human does consciousness arise? You get very serious when you speak about that, huh? Yeah, no, it's, always... it's a real question. If you leave hydrogen out in the sun long enough, it, it, it starts talking to itself. Here we are, hydrogen talking to itself. How to deal with that? So, if it is so important, how to deal? I mean, right, laws, uh, um, personal behavior, how, how to deal with that uh, artificial intelligence? Because it's a process, I mean, I think we need to keep, a, keep a close eye on artificial intelligence. Um, I mean, I am in favor of some regulatory insight, uh, just so that there's someone can at least um, be a referee. Like, if you think of any game, like there's always a referee for a game, for for industries that affect the good of the people. There's are, there are regulatory agencies that oversee those industries. Anything that's dangerous is overseen by uh, some kind of referee or regulator. Um, I think we should have the same thing for AI, um, just to, to help ensure that it is beneficial. Um, the, the good part of AI is that we are headed for a future of abundance. Um, so the AI and robotics will mean that there are no shortage of goods and services. You, there, was, there will be goods and services. If, if you can think of it, you can have it, basically. So. This is a uh, quite profound. Like I said, it's the magic genie. Um, AI, and, AI and robotics will get you anything you want. Um, now, usually in these sort of fairy tales about magic genies, it doesn't turn out so well. <laughs> um, you have to be careful what you wish for, even if what you wish for are wishes. Um, so it's just something we should be cautious about. Okay. Um, the, on the plus side, it will bring many benefits. Like I said, there, sure. there, w it will usher in an age of abundance. Um, the, the, so the, the positive scenario of AI is that there's an age of abundance. 
and there is no shortage of goods and services, that any scarcity that, is, that exists will be only because we define it to be scarce. So, and it, it does seem to be somewhat of an in, inevitable thing, uh, AI. So, you know, there's that, supposedly that, that uh, Chinese saying about, uh, may you live in interesting times. Well, I think we currently live in the most interesting of times in all of history, right now. Um, so, anyway, so my recommendation on AI is, I think we want some kind of regulatory oversight just to make sure um, that it's beneficial AI. Great. Yeah. We hope so. Um, um, so. <laughs> <laughs> and what about, 